It's time for sports here on Joy News today. And remember, we're celebrating 25 years of media excellence, and we're grateful to all of you. Let's go into our first story, where Ghana's amateur boxing team, the Black Bombers, risk being stranded in Dakar, Senegal, as they participate in an Olympic qualifier in a few days. Now, the team which left Accra earlier this morning may, may, is made of uh, eight male boxers and two female boxers, as well as two coaches, and it is hoping to book as many places as possible in the Tokyo Olympic Games, which comes off later this year. Now, according to the president of the Ghana Boxing Federation, George Lamte, the National Sports Authority has offered some support with the provision of five return air tickets, while individuals are also beefing with their own personal resources. It is, however, inadequate. Now, the team needs to ur urgently raise $6,275 US to add to an initial $6,000 to sort out their accommodation needs for the qualifier. Meanwhile, Former IBF lightweight champion Richard Comey, who was at the Kotoka airport to see them off, has been encouraging the boxers to rise above the challenges and qualify for the Olympics. I am very happy to take time to be here to encourage you. Most of you have been in the game for a long time and I know you very well. I mean... I want to encourage you guys to go out there and give your all to win medals for Ghana. I know the struggle you go through to get sponsorship for such competitions, but I want to assure you if you give your best, securing sponsorship for subsequent competitions won't be a struggle. You are the future of Ghana boxing and a lot depends on you. I wish you guys all the best and I believe you have trained well because your coaches are exceptional. Notably, Kuchasare. We need more world champions in future. Well, we wish the Black Bombers all the best, all the same. Now, probably the most experienced player in the Ghana Premier League today, Adriana Stars forward Yaya Mohamed, is joint top scorer alongside uh, Victoriana Debayo of Inter Allies, who have scored 10 goals in as many games. Now, Joy Sports' George Addo Jr. spent time with a man who celebrates his 32nd birthday today to find out the motivation behind his 15-year career in the Ghana Premier League. We're close to the halfway line of the Ghana Premier League, but I must tell you, the competition is certainly moving notches up, and there's a lot to come. Well, we know Victor Nadebayo has managed to score 10 goals in nine games. That's a close challenger in Yaya Mohamed, who is probably the most experienced player in the Ghana Premier League. He's been playing since 2005. I've just come down here to the Diana Stars Hotel to see if we can talk to him and get one or two from him. Let's get in now. He's arguably the most experienced player in generation Ghana Premier League. Since besting on the scene in 2005, he has never looked back. And even though he has been placed in a pack of relatively younger and inexperienced footballers, his prowess cannot be questioned. Uh, I'll give the thanks to Almighty God uh, because, uh, as you are, you are saying, it's very long, long time. But if you're a footballer and you take care of yourself and your body, I think you can play and play and you choose when you will stop football. Yaya Mohamed has set the 2019-2020 season ablaze, scoring goals for fun, snatched the Player of the Month award in January, and is now joint top scorer alongside Inter Allies winger Victorian Adebayo. So it appears to be a head-on battle between Yaya Mohamed of Adriana Stars and Victorian Adebayo of Inter Allies. First, the fight for the player of the month in February, goal king race, and the most valuable player at the end of the season. Yaya Mohamed is very much aware of this challenge. Victorian Adebayo from Inter Allies, who is, who is doing all he can do for Inter Allies. He's now scored like 10 goals in um, nine games. Does that put pressure on you in any way? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, to be frank, uh, I will tell you the truth. Yesterday, give me sleepless night because he <laughs> scored two goals. And he's a very good player and, and uh, he has to do more because he's a foreigner. Mm -hmm. When you travel outside there, you cannot play the same as the local players. You have to play above them yes. because you are from outside. Your everything, your salary, your everything, your treatment is different from the local players. So what he's doing, I understand him. Mm -hmm. And he's a very good player. You have to keep it up. You don't have to be suited 
there, there, that. And if I'm not there, the team is not scoring, so I will just uh, relax. Yaya Mohamed looks to Zlatan Ibrahimovic for motivation. So, surely, there's more to come from the striker with braids. And if he needed anyone to push him, Victoria Nadebayo is more than able. Well, more of the details of this one later on on Sports Today exactly at 2 p.m. right here on this channel. So you'd have to stay here with us. Of course, uh, there's more coming up here on Joy News Today. World News is next. But for now, my name is Nathaniel Atto and I have love for sport.